Hello and welcome to glorious communist capital Muffinville. Last time. Okay, let, let me stop with that fake Slavic accent. Uh, just because I'm a Slavic doesn't mean that Slavic people can't get offended. Last time, uh, we've tried to, to fix a bit the traffic issues. Uh, I won't say it was perfectly solved at all, but it's better. It's certainly better than it was. And this time around, it's the last episode. One minute of silence, please. Done. Uh, no, I'm not kidding. This is gonna be the last episode for me and my SimCity Let's Play. I know it wasn't the most successful Let's Play for, by far, simply because, you know, SimCity came out to be very bugged at the start. It had some DRM issues, it had some connectivity issues, and there were lots of issues. There are still lots of issues, like the map size, it's ridiculous. But it doesn't mean that I didn't enjoy this game. I'm still enjoying it. I love this game. It's been designed well. I mean, the looks of it are perfect. It fits SimCity perfectly. The, the playstyle, the gameplay is great. Just, you know, if the map size was four times as big, and if the street options and the mass transit options were the same as in SimCity 4, then this game I would be playing for maybe 100 episodes for sure, but seeing it as it is, hopefully not waiting for a rush hour expansion pack, because let's be honest, that's what added uh, lots of mass transit options to SimCity 4. Um, that, that building just got abandoned in front of my eyes. Seeing that, I just don't see myself as playing it for too too long, that's the problem right now. I can't play it for too much, and I do realize that this game is not for everybody. So I decided to follow uh, Zion Rabbits' uh, suggestion, big follower to my, uh, well, let's say city building games like Hanno and now this one. And I'll definitely do a couple of things that uh, have been uh, there in limbo. One of them is finish off Anno. I will be making an Anno 2070 episode, one single episode with lots of video editing and lots of off-camera stuff happening, uh, about military. Uh, I have that military map with Hard Keto and Hard Hector and I hope that I will be able to complete it. I still have to get back into the drill of things for Rhino. And after that, um, I'm, I'm, I'm having clearance to go with Civilization V. I've uh, seen... Uh, a uh, friend, um, Boy in a Barrel, if you heard of it, if you check uh, the J. Smith streams, you might know him. Well, I've seen him streaming uh, Civilization V just yesterday, and I must say that I'm pleasantly surprised with that game. I didn't expect it to be quite as polished and nice as it is. Therefore, I will definitely be making the purchase, and hopefully will enjoying that for a couple of episodes, or hundreds of episodes, God knows what 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 life has in store for us. I heard that it can get to being a very long game. But anyway, I digress. Let's get back into the drill of things in SimCity. It's the last episode, doesn't mean that we are going to do nothing. Quite quite differently, my fellows. We are going to do lots. Now, in the 30 episodes I had just two disasters, which is kind of a disappointment, isn't it? I know, I know. It's not my fault, it's the game's fault. But doesn't really matter in the long run. Uh, the cities uh, grew steadily. This city grew steadily. The others not quite. But this this city is quite nice. I must say, I was. Uh, it was a refreshing view to see that uh, a design of mine worked for once. So I definitely, definitely like this city. Aside from traffic issues, but you know how much I care about traffic issues. What do you want in front of my house? Hi, Mayor. We think you're doing such a great job running the show. I f if you can raise your approval rating even further, we might get a little present. Okay, okay. I know the drill. We just need to get to 40,000 inhabitants and then we're done with that. Uh, that doesn't sound too hard, aside from having density issues, of course, but that's gonna happen eventually. What it? Uh, let's upgrade all this road nonsense here, huh? I have the feeling like this might help. A bit in the density of the city. Now, uh, sewage is a problem apparently. Yeah, sewage is quite a problem, I dare say. 
let's add sewage uh, thingy. What you call it? Outflow pipe? Uh, no, treatment tank. Okay. There you go. The issue is solved. The issue is solved. As an old man would say. That is totally, totally a rip off Deckard Kane's voice, by the way. If don't, those that don't know Deckard Kane, it's from the Diablo series. All the way to Diablo 3. And what happens to him in Diablo 3? I won't spoil anything, I just saying that that didn't happen. No. Diablo 3 is not a game. That that being said, let's not get into the the talk of bad DRM games. Because we're already in some city talking about Diablo 3 is certainly not something that you would like to hear, right? Uh, is water an issue? No. Sewage is good. Oh, this is an issue, okay. So, uh, it's the problem that we are not collecting enough garbage cans, I do believe. If that's the case, then we're just gonna place a couple ones of these guys and it should be solved, right? 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 I hope so, I don't know. I'm not an expert in any ma in this matter, but I do certainly hope so it works like that. No, just a straight line. Do a straight line! There you go. See, it's not that hard to make a straight line, is it? Silly, silly game. Alright. So I'm not saying that I'm done with this game forever. If the game gets severely, severely uh, updated, I might return to it. But don't hold my promises for sure, because the uh, last couple of promises went in vain. And it's pretty clear that on the tube stuffing... I cannot hold promises when it comes to games. Let, let's just put it this way, as simple as that. I can't hold promises when it comes to games because I'm not always in the mood to play a certain video game. I know you might think that I'm picky, but uh, it's not. It's just that, you know, you're like, okay, I'm in the mood for a role-playing game now, not a city-building game. And you play, I don't know, Baldur's Gate, you play other games that are good of this generation. Uh, a video that might happen so sooner or later is, uh, in fact... Um, Dark Souls. I'm not even kidding. There was an offer on Amazon, which, by the way, I couldn't have bought if it wasn't for a trick up my sleeve. Uh, Dark Souls for PC for seven and a half dollars. Seven and a half dollars. Seven and a freaking half dollars. I think I purchased the game originally uh, in uh, what was it? October or November 2011 for 60 bucks then the DLC came another 10 bucks 70 bucks and I when I say bucks I mean euros that is the equivalent of what 90 dollars seven and a half dollars for the same game on the PC seriously okay I guess to hell with those 70 euros, right? <laughs> I will be making a video of it because... Gosh damn it. It all started because of Northern Lion. For those that don't know, check out www.youtube.com slash Northern Lion. If you don't know him, shame on you. He's one of the more famous gamers. Uh, it all started with him. You see, he uh, returned to the game after, what, a year and a half after release or something like that. He started live streaming it. And then, uh, Jay Smith as EI, a good friend to the channel. I'm not even kidding. He says that I'm a friend to the channel, I say that he's a friend to my channel, right? Oh, the traffic. And, uh... Then he, st he started streaming, but I wanted to aid him, I wanted to invade them even. But I couldn't, because I have the PS3 version. And, of course, uh, Games for Windows Live being the so mentioned belly bottom that he is. Ah, there you go. We have our manor. Can I just destroy my house at this point? Is there any real reason for keeping the house? I guess it is. Is it costing me anything? It is! Get out of here! Nah, it's improving my uh, ground, I guess. But yeah, Games for Windows Live's, uh, Live is not available for my country. It's simple as that. It, it's just not available. I cannot purchase any game or play any game online for games for Windows Live. Actually, that's not true. I could play them if I purchase them, but I cannot purchase them online because, you know, it's games for Windows Live. It's not supported. But I found an offer on Amazon. 
uh, a digital code for Steam for Dark Souls. Seven and a half dollars. And I purchase it. No fuss about it. Register it on Steam, and there, there you go. It's downloading right now, just in the background. And I'm like, now, right, so why can't I buy it from Games for Windows Lives? I can still play it multiplayer, I've checked and rechecked. People that aren't accessible to for Games for Windows Lives can play it multiplayer. That's a fact. They just don't get support. And you know how much I care about Windows Games for Windows Live support? Nothing. I don't care anything about that. I, I I just don't care. I don't care. Seven and a half is a theft. So if you ever happen to see Dark Souls for so little, consider buying it. It's a very good game. You'll see soon. Alright, so now we can start upgrading our mansion. Mansion, mansion, mansion. Let's let's start with a flag. Why not? The flag is a fanciful thing. I always desire to have something that's flags in my city. Not of my country, just the city sign of my city. You know, uh, we are not that patriotic when it comes to flags, and uh, flags are usually just placed when there is a uh, festivity, and that's it. There's no other chance for us to see our flags. Our city flag, again, the city flag. No one ever puts it. I don't know why, it's a nice flag, it's a uh, dove with an olive branch in its uh, mouth. Allegedly, it's the origin of the Dove of Peace, the one with the olive, olive branch in their mouth. It came from my city. So, yeah. It originated from there, so... I don't know, why, why are we putting those flags more often? Therefore, I'm just upgrading. I actually envy this uh, in uh, the United States. I know that, uh, for a fact, the old Confederate States, the Southern State, if you want, from the war the Civil War, American Civil War, where uh, they, they, they have flags in front of their house. They, they are, they taking pr they're taking pride of their nation. They're taking pride of their state. I mean, I'm not saying that I'm proud of my state, given the current political and economical situation, but the point is, if we're not proud of our country, then what are we proud of? I mean... Not as much as country as in the political way, just country as in the the region, the region bordering with other countries. It's a cultural mix, right? Fire service is slow. Get out of here. I do believe is this high density? Okay, fine. No, it might be high density already. You know, things are upgrading all here in uh, this spot, and it might be skyscrapers. But yeah, the point is. What do you want? Classroom's full? I don't care, man. I just don't care. You know what you're getting? A public library. Make yourself at home. There you go. But yeah, if we're not proud of our flag and our region, our bordering region, then what are we proud of? So that's what I envy about the United States. That they're quite... Uh... uh well, sometimes obsessed, I don't deny that, but uh, I just uh, think that being proud of your own country's flag is something that needs to happen more often. And we should be all friends! Why the hell are there wars? That, that's nonsensical. Then again, I, I, ask, uh, I do not realize that wars are mostly caused by big, powerful states like uh, the before-mentioned United States, but... It's all about tensions. It's political tensions that grow up through years. But why are we talking about political stuffs here? I don't know. I guess I'm just a born politician. I'm just a born politician. Look at these buildings. That's a nice flat. I remember some some similar flats in uh, Sim City 3000. Do you remember that? That's kind of cool. Also, these buildings are growing nice and easy. And these. And the city's finally growing, apparently. That's uh, kind of cool. Can I upgrade my mansion? Of course I can upgrade. What kind of silly things I'm asking? Oh yeah, the barbecue pit. Uh, why can't I put it back here? I guess I can just eat uh, pork chops uh, in front of people. Well, and don't get me wrong. I mean, uh, there's nothing wrong if you're eating in front of your house. I just feel like... Uh, well, I, I just don't like it if you're exposed when you're eating. 
I'm not saying it in a restaurant kind of way, I just mean uh, if you're in your house, you usually have your uh, dining open area outside in the courtyard. Behind the house, look at that car by the way. Look at that, that's a fancy little car you got there, Mayor. Yeah, it's basically, I want it to be kept private, you know, I, I just don't want to be, uh, especially a mayor. You really want every single seam passing through this row to see you eat your pork chops, and your sausages, and your, uh, I don't know, what else? Well, stuff like that. I, I don't expect that, I really uh, couldn't see that happening. <laughs> it's a silly notion. I'd rather put my barbecue play patio behind. You know, that's my feeling at least. Look at those buildings, that's some nice buildings you've got there, city. This is an intense street. Why all the uh, red signs? It makes it the red light street here. Oh my god, what is this, a theater? Uh, yes, it's a theater. Good thing, good thing. For a moment I thought it was something far worse. Do I need to destroy anything? Oh yes, yes I do, yes I do indeed. Apparently there are some rare instances where you don't really have to destroy buildings, abandoned buildings, as they might still be sold. It's just a rare instance. I, I don't know if it's true though. Alright, so it is still growing. Apparently energy is a problem. Oh god, yes! Yes, energy is a big problem. Let's see now. We have this 75 megawatt dirty coal generator, we have advanced coal generator for 75, but the air pollution is medium. The price... Less? Oh, but it burns the double. Okay... I guess until we get the clean coal generator, which is uh, still uh, worse in coal burn rate. Uh, ah, we don't need that many generators in the, at the end of the day, and we don't want it to be super polluted, the, the, the city, do we now? Anyway, the electricity should be coming back to their homes now, which is good news. Alright. Stop complaining about school, this is not a school city. Send the friggin' children... Where are the other cities? There, there, and there, goddammit. You know what, I'm even offering you a train station for that. If you shut up, I'm offering you a train station. Alright? Is it a deal? I hope it is. Alright, so we place it... Well, I think more towards the industry would be coming in handy. God damn it, what now? Oh, for friggin' freak's sake. No, nope, no. I just want it to bend a slight little bit, not lots. No, wait. Uh, so, straight line. Straight line. Straight line, I said. Freaking goddammit. Son! Son! Straight line. There you go. It's not that hard, is it? Just need to try harder. There. More or less. What do you want? A sign? There you go, it's a s sign placement is has become strange. I was gonna place it like this, but that doesn't fit perfectly, does it now? Oh well. Stuff like that happens all the time. Can I bring this road to down there, I wonder? Ah. Isn't that fancy? I like that. We can make something super complex for traffic too, like this. How's this gonna work? Um, is this even gonna work? Sometimes I wonder why this game doesn't have freaking roundabouts. But oh well. I guess we can't have everything in our lives now, can we? Okay, let's destroy this nonsense. It just causes more traffic. Right, we're almost 20 minutes, so we're almost done with this game. It's a uh, another upgrade available for our mansion. Our city loves us. 77 approval rating is not bad at all. So what do we add now? The fancy fountain here? Sure. It'll give less pe the people less space for complaining. What happened here? That's silly. 
Uh, yeah, less less place for people to complain, which is good news. More buildings being uh, growing, literally, literally growing. Well, look at that. That's incredible. I guess industrialization is the way to go for your first city, truth be told. I just have that feeling right now. So how many passengers we have? 561 per day and we are at one, almost 2 p.m. Huh. Well, that's reasonable. Holy hell, this city is growing fast and steady. I just don't like that these two buildings are exactly the same at exactly the same angle and exactly the same spot. But at least they have one has more trees than the other. But seriously, why would you put two exactly identical building designs close together? And that's one thing you did irked me even in SimCity 4, as in uh, there weren't lots of building designs. Unlock the archaeology! Dude. Dude, we already... I thought that we already started an archaeology, like, down there in the bellies of the world. But apparently that's not a thing. 120 calls per... tons per day, that's that, that's that, it's okay, it's okay, it's okay. I, don't, I can't complain. The fact that these trading depots are almost empty, though, is a thing, a thing that makes me wonder if we are fine on the college. I hope so. I, I really do. Otherwise, we'll have to start purchasing coal instead of selling it. Or we're just running low of, on coal. I don't know. Uh, it doesn't look like that, no. I wouldn't say we're running extremely low. Certainly not low on ore. That's good news. You're right. So, let me guess, of course. What else? Uh, but now we're already on the 80% approval rating, which is gonna be harder. Where do you want... On the friggin' roof? That's nonsensical. Why would you put a friggin' griffin on the roof? Is this even a griffin? This is a mayor statue. Oh, I'm a bird, apparently. Mayor, the whole city is proud of you. Proud like an eagle. Definitely not a peacock. Definitely not. I don't know. I think like it's a griffin or something. Yeah, I know. Griffins have actually four paws. But never mind that. Anyway. Uh, it's been 23 minutes almost. I'm at 22 and a half now. I'm gonna pause it. It's done. We're on. It's over. So, yeah. It's been 30 episodes. I'm not saying bad episodes. I'm saying I, I had fun. I really had fun genuine fan playing this game, but it's time to move on with this channel. I can just keep on playing and playing and playing and playing and playing and water is a problem. Good lord, water is a problem! You're just saying it now? Put some of those, guys. No, don't destroy the half of the city for it, freaking god. Oh well. I've had genuine fun playing this game, so I uh, I don't say I strongly suggest it to anyone who doesn't have it. Not yet, not at the current state. Just wait a couple of months more, maybe the price will drop dramatically. If it goes around 30 bucks, I think it's a deal already. I, I, I think I've spent around 75 hours with it thus far, on and off camera. So, yeah, this is it for now. Thanks everybody for watching. And uh, next time we'll see each other with Anno again. Until then, be well. What do you want? Hey oh, Our town is getting to be quite a tourist attraction. We should uh, treat tourists by adding a landmark to our city. Petit tour architecture de l'Europe. I don't know how to freaking... Well, whatever. I'll be playing this... Oh my god! 80,000 people in the city? Are you freaking serious? But yeah, the point is, I'm gonna pause this right now. I probably will play a bit of camera if I will ever return to this game. I'll probably return with this region or a new region I have no new yet. Can I upgrade this? No. So, until next time, be well. Bye! This was the Loud and Gaming Show. Thanks for watching!